which frequently in this industry is an engineer as opposed to kind of a classic, you know, raised floor IT person like we might think about. That's just risk. You know, I've got to, I got to make the bet that these things will all hang together and work. And so what we're coming in and doing with converged infrastructure for the media space is saying, we'll take the risk. You know, we've tested it end to end. You know, some of the parts are ours and there are some, you know, things that are from partners. Well, in, in any case, we're going to test it. We're going to give you a reference architecture. It's basically a proven solution for play out, for file editing, for a variety of other workflows. So I think that's kind of the next wave of converged infrastructure is going beyond the infrastructure to application specific solutions and it's all about taking the risk out. I just saw a tweet uh, come across my dashboard here that you're going to be doing a, a session with Mike Lynch, Dr. Mike Lynch. Dr. Mike Lynch. Who is the CEO of Autonomy now, part of yeah. HP. Yeah. Obviously information is a big part of his business storage is yours. What are you guys talking about? Well, I think we have about two hours there, and I'm gonna, my goal is to present for like five minutes and get out of the way, because <laughs> I've seen his presentation, <laughs> and it's pretty whiz-bang. I mean, they've got some, uh, a very cool set of demos with the Erasmus technology and some of the other technologies that we have, and how the, you know, they play in, in, in this space in particular. So, Have we'll you be, seen his pitch? I have, yeah. I've what seen is it a couple. Con um, Content with meaning mean, compute with meaning. Well, you know, I think... Uh, uh, compute with meaning? The, the best I can articulate it is, um, you know, what, what Autonomy has is they've got a platform underneath a whole bunch of different industry solutions, right? So they do everything from backup to archive, content management, you know, media file asset management. They, do a, they, they have like 40 different applications. They have one common thing underneath it, and it's called IDLE. Idle. And IDLE is the, is the brainchild of Dr. Mike Lynch. I mean, this is the... This is the core of the intellectual property they, they built starting in university up until today. And they're, they're taking things even like um, Data Protector, which is the HP backup software. Now that's going to run on top of Idle. So that's the content management engine. It captures everything about all the data that's there and allows you to get information so value out of it. And what does that sound like? Yeah, it's, it's, Big well, data, big data. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I've actually said I, idle is the hammer and every opportunity is the nail. Well, and that's how, how autonomy is, they've had been very successful. Right. So, so it's a great approach. thing for us because it gets us, you know, we've got the box business, but we also have, you know, a deeper connection with the application and the workflow if we're, if we're bringing in the autonomy technology. Any other vibes you can share with the audience out there in terms of what you're seeing at the shows? It doesn't have to be an HP perspective, it could be your personal perspective as you kind of walk the hallways and talk to folks. Well, you know, I, for me, I, I have to say that, you know, we, we do a lot of events. I, I go to too many events. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's usually marketing, marketing, marketing. This one is, for me, it's an R&D event, in effect, because it's, um, it's an opportunity to test out a lot of things that, and, and again, I have a core belief proven over time that the things that we see in 2012 in high performance computing and media and entertainment, we're going to be doing that three years from now in general purpose computing. So it's, it's a learning exercise for us more than anything else. And I've learned a ton just a couple of days. Well, how about the whole data reduction, storage efficiency trend? Again, we know it well in the, you know, the, the mainstream commercial space. What's happening here? I mean, you guys have announced a lot of new systems around you know, store wants and, and uh, uh, data deduplication everywhere is sort of your theme. How, how is it play in this world? You know, that, that's interesting. I would tell you that um, we have probably not gotten as far in this space with uh, some of the concepts around deduplication uh, as we have in kind of the backup space. But again, that's starting to happen. You know, we're starting to see folks say, look, you know, with the sheer con volume of information that we have, uh, we've got to find ways to kind of overall reduce. Um, and, you know, again, there are some unique things happening in tape in this business, and so we're seeing a lot of interest in something called LTFS, which is a, you know, a, 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 it's an open source technology that, that HP was involved with uh, bringing to market. And you put that in front of a huge volume of, of, of tape or, or other media, and it gives you kind of a transparent you know, interface to dump that data off. So we're looking to combine data reduction, compression technology together with that uh, LTFS file system layer and do some unique things for this space. So again, I think there's things you learn here, there's things that are different, there's an awful lot of it that if we can get that right, the ability to give you very low cost, huge volume of data that's transparent, and it's not dealing with all those tapes anymore, it's transparent, that has applicability in the cloud. It has applicability in, 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 in many, many places in the general purpose business. So uh, again, I think about it in terms of how can we use these guys that are pushing the envelope in kind of all respects and learn from it. And that's what, kind of what we're doing here this Yeah, week. we were talking about this at the top of the show, again, the whole t tape phenomenon. And you know, there's so many operations in the media entertainment business that need to keep so many versions. And tape is still really inexpensive. And so 
um, you, you know, where you have those processes and, and it's and, and, and like we had with data, du du data, data dedupe in the mainstream backup yeah. market, that got disrupted, but it hasn't happened yet here, and maybe there are other opportunities well, there. Well, I think it's, you know, again, if you think about what, what's happening, it's, it's not about the tape. It's about the fact that you've got LTFS on top of it. Yeah. You've got store next. It's another file system. On it's really NAS. It's, it's, with, yeah, it's, it, with it's tape hardened. behind it. Yeah. It's, it's just, <laughs> it's, a, it's a unique phenomenon. And you know, it's interesting. It's fun having been around this industry for a long time and seeing that, uh, that part of it still, uh, you know, still Tom, still my fun. final question as we run out of time here is obviously you guys made a big acquisition with 3PAR. Um, that was the, the big uh, you know, bidding war, but HP got it. Talk about the impact of 3PAR um, within HP, contribution to earnings, product right. development, customer satisfaction, and in context also to the media business, if you, if you could. Okay, so you know, I think uh, the first off, it was, an, it was an infusion of culture, right? So mm -hmm. we got, um, we were fortunate to be able to keep David Scott, who's uh, my boss, who's the CEO of 3PAR, uh, and his team. Uh, and you know, kind of infuse it with the, uh, the HP team. And a lot of those folks had been with HP prior, so they kind of understood HP. So it was a shot of, of you know, life for the storage business, and it's been really exciting to see that, that merger happen. I think the other thing is you know, it gave us a platform that's you know, the first version of 3PAR shipped in 2003. So it's new, it's new technology, and we're able to go out and get design wins with it. You know, if we can get a conversation with a customer about you know, the, the merits of the product, versus you know, other things like you know, I, I, you know, I like the vendor I got or I like the sales rep or I'm used to, if you can get past that and say, let's, let's look at the technology, we get the design win more often than not. And we have, and we'll talk about this more, we have a growing list of takeouts and they're getting bigger you know, with 3PAR. Competitive so, takeouts. Competitive takeouts where you know, we were going into long time stronghold accounts of the other, other folks in the industry and, and winning and, and in all candor that that hasn't happened in HP storage for a number of years. So that, that change is... So they're um, your flagship out there leading the way. It's invigorating the business and it's a lot of fun. It's great to see it start to Well, really it's a John, I've said it a number of times, when I came back into the storage business, my friend John MacArthur, you may know John, so oh, well. I said, you know, who do I got to look at? He said, the two companies, you know, one was Data Domain and the other was 3PAR. Yep. And that was my, my first, you know, on-site visit and yep. met with those guys and said, wow, this yeah. is new and Well, I had, different. when I was in startup land before coming back you know, into a larger company, I had that box in our lab and I had a lot of other boxes and it was fundamentally different. And so you know, when it came around here, you know, it's time to make a decision about what's the right technology. There was no doubt in my mind and we're, we're very pleased. Okay, Tom Joyce with HP Storage. Thanks for coming on theCUBE again. CUBE alumni many times. Thanks for your perspective. Great to see you at NAB. Thank NAB. you very much. Good to see you, Tom. Thanks, David. Right, thank uh, we'll you. be right back with our next guest right after this break.